Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great, staying safe and sane and healthy and just everybody getting along out there. Um, today's video is um, one I've been wanting to do for a while. It's something that I have uh, been kind of holding back on and I was gonna do it last year around Christmas because it seemed kind of fitting, you know. Um, but keeping with the toy theme of last week's video with the Hot Wheels and, and Aaron and all that good stuff, um, I have stumbled across a lot of stuff that Mattel has been doing and a lot of adaptive toys and stuff like that, like we were talking about before in the previous video. Um, not the two little bonus videos that I, I uploaded. I just wanted to give you guys something to watch because, you know, it's just cool little shorts that I did. I put together one of my bags. Um, another one's an old throwback video from when we went snow yakking years and years ago. So that's, those are good times, you know, so, <laughs> um, the snow yakking video is actually one with me with two legs, which is kind of weird. I don't, like I said in the, the description of that, I don't think I've ever uploaded a video with me with two legs before. So, so that's cool. You know, I thought you guys would uh, be interested in seeing that. So. I'm not talking about those two videos. I'm talking about, I'm referring back to the Wills, uh, the Aaron Wills fathering hand video, the, uh, the gentleman in the wheelchair. But um, keeping with that theme, I have noticed with, I have a daughter and my daughter loves Barbies. And something that I've noticed that Barbies has been doing is making dolls with prosthetic legs. And I thought that was really, really cool. That's something that I feel needed to be spotlighted and something that needed to be talked about. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna talk about, of all things on this channel, <laughs> we're gonna talk about Barbies. So, hey, whatever. I, no shame in my game. I, like I said, I have a, a six-year-old daughter. Then, you know, Barbies are just a part of our life around here. That's just the way it goes, you know? But I also wanted to to uh, show you guys a little short news article um, about a little girl who's been buying up prosthetic Barbies and giving them out to children who have also lost their limbs. I thought this is a really, really cool story, something that you know I thought my audience would really enjoy, something that you guys would uh, get a lot from. So I wanted to... Um, to insert that here and so you you guys check that out and it's only like a minute long or something like that it's just like a short little clip but uh it, it's something that i definitely want you guys to check out so check out the clip and i'll be right back I didn't expect this. I really did not expect this. It's mind-boggling. Cindy Newman says her daughter Chloe reached out to toy maker Mattel to ask about buying a significant number of Barbie Fashionista number 121, but never heard back. So on Sunday night, Cindy took to Facebook, asking people to purchase the dolls on their behalf and she would reimburse them. What I was thinking was going to happen is somebody would maybe walk into a store and see three pick them up and I'd reimburse them so that we could get to 100 because even Amazon would only let you get like 20, I think. And it, we really wanted a quantity to take to Shriners. And it was like, bing, bing, bing. And I, I finally called her over and said, Chloe, you're not going to believe this. Chloe was in shock. Well, I was sitting next to my computer like crying. I was like, oh my gosh, how, how? This is great. Chloe is now 18, but she says she was still thrilled to see a Barbie with a prosthetic leg. She says she's also excited to see reactions from other little girls who get their prosthetics made at Shriners. Because if I felt this, like, how are other girls going to find out, like, when they're, like, little? Like, I'm still excited, but how are the little girls going to find out? They're going to freak out. Though the dolls have come a long way, Cindy says there's still more progress to be made. We need someone to make a male version of this because there's also a lot of, lot of little boys with one leg and a lot of little boys who dads have one leg. And uh, that's what I said, G.I. Joe's got to get on this. Somebody's got to get on this because we're, yeah, you know, we have half the population that has one leg represented, but we need the other half too. So there you go. Isn't that such an amazing story? I thought that was something that, you know, that you guys really, really would appreciate, especially on this channel. Um, you know, we, we like that kind of stuff over here. So, um, okay. So 
now that we're a little bit more familiar with what they actually are i want to uh do something that we don't do a whole lot of on this channel and that is an unboxing because i happen to have here this gentleman check that out is that not cool obviously when these are all said and done my daughter's gonna get them and you know she'll get to play with them and that kind of stuff she already has spoiler alert she already has a few of these already but you know um so check this out they just recently came out with the uh the ken version but there you go his leg right there looks like it's based off of the um what is it called the Rio knee, I believe is what I'm, what I believe is what it's called. It's like the Rio knee or the Rio knee two or something like that. He's got this basic pylon right there that you can see. Basic ankle. And then his foot shell and his shoe. But that is so cool. I was like, that is so neat. So there we go. We're gonna put this guy right here. Right in the white. There we go. Show off that leg. And just because we have her. Check her out. She has the same thing. It's basically the same type of leg. And, uh, and yeah, you can see it right there. But isn't that cool? So, that is so neat. All right, so give us just a second. We're gonna get these two unboxed and we'll look at them in a little bit greater detail. All right, so cue the time lapse in three, two, one. Okay, so I got them open and um, obviously it was a little bit more fun than I should have had playing with them. <laughs> Whatever. Um, all right, so we're gonna take a look at their prosthetic legs. So there he is, there's his shoe. We're gonna see, does his foot shell look real like authentic? Let's see, I'm bending his leg back, bending his foot back, but it don't hurt anyway because he can't. So, there we go. Pretty cool. So it looks like just like a basic Barbie foot, more or less. It don't really look like they went to any extra effort to make a foot shell, but maybe they did. I don't know, it's hard to see. So, what I'm curious about to know is, we're gonna find out, I'm gonna put this back on here. So we're gonna put a shoe back on. Now, let's see. does all right check that out check it out it's a barbie prosthetic limb y'all that is awesome so let's see if hers all right they are both yeah both lefties just like me so let's see is there a male and a female there is see one's a little bit smaller than the other okay 
I got you. So, the leg, the uh, actual knee itself still looks like I said, like the Rio knee. Which, I actually had one of these before, just as a testing. I was doing a, a test for it. And, that's really cool. And his, you can see a little bit better. Yeah, okay. That is really cool. And the socket is pretty, uh, pretty detailed. You can see it just kind of snapped in right there. And that's his upper part. You can see where it goes up from the, uh, um, from the hip there. So, all right, let's set these aside. Now, take a look. Check that out. That is my man's stump right there. And just like me, he's right there on the lefty. He's a lefty, just like me. That is so cool. Here, I guess we can put his arms down now. But that is so cool. Just like me. So, we're gonna put his leg back on. See how hard it is, just like it is for me, to get your shorts back over your prosthetic leg. Because with anybody, I know I have a lot of people that follow me that are, um, that are amputees, and they'll tell you the same thing, that putting shorts on over your prosthetic, it's a pain in the ass. This one don't really snap it, it kind of goes pressure, I guess. So, we're gonna see. Oh, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't so bad, all right, all right. There we go. Oh. Cool. All right. Now, moving on to the female, to the Barbie version. We're gonna look at her. She pretty much is probably gonna be pretty much the same there's her hip and everything like I said so she's gonna come up this way we're gonna go there you go it popped right on I could feel this one snap in the other one didn't want to do that so we're going to there we go all right <clears throat> so this is absolutely amazing and it's, it's something that I know it seems odd that, you know, here's a grown man sitting here messing with two Barbies, you know, but there is a greater purpose. And the reason I'm so stoked on this and, and so excited for this is because it's something that, you know, there's not a lot of toy companies doing and not a lot of people are really taking part of. And it's just, it's, it's so great. You know, because there's a lot of kids that are born with no limbs or kids that lose their limbs at an early age. And for them, it's very awkward or it's very hard to make friends or to adapt or adjust and, and move on in life like they're, they're wanting to and just simply be a kid. Well, you know, with, with Mattel and, and what they're doing and showing that other people can get out there and do great things and be you know, a, a, a useful part of society and somebody that does do great things and somebody that can just move on with life and do what they do, you know, it's showing that that's possible. And, you know, I mean, it even says right here on their label, pardon my tattered package, but, you know, um, yeah, empowering, empowering the next generation through play. That's amazing. So, you know, Kudos to you, Mattel. I absolutely, hats off to you guys. Um, this is absolutely incredible. I can't tell you how much, you know, my daughter personally has grown up with me her entire life with a prosthetic. And um, that's just the way it is. But other kids haven't. And other kids, you know, they're not used to being around prosthetic limbs and stuff like that. Well, this right here teaches them and it shows them that, you know, well, this is really neat. Not only it's just like, oh, it's a cool limb, it's a cool leg, you know. It's it's not really about that. It's it's more teaching them that, you know, it's just a normal person just like you and me, you know. Or like, you know, they are. But um but I really wanted to uh to, you know, thank Mattel and really shine a spotlight on them 
and really point out the amazing things that they are doing because not a lot of people understand that or not a lot of people really even care or just kind of take it for granted and say oh that's cool look it's a barbie with a prosthetic limb cool and and it is cool it is it's really cool but it's to us the people in the, the amputee and the you know the disabled communities and stuff like that it's definitely a huge step and it's it's something that we have really really been pushing for and something that you know we are super super grateful that is starting to come into the spotlight a little bit more uh, I do want to do a video coming up about adaptive clothing and stuff like that and department stores that are starting to take part in um, catering to more you know adaptive clothing that kind of thing and um, we're not necessarily talking about rainbow clothes and that kind of, I'm, I'm, it's not that. We're talking about actual shoes for people that, you know, have only one hand or, you know, or just, they don't have the use of their hands or stuff like that, or clothes that are easier to get on for older people. This, this kind of stuff, stuff that was never really used or spotlighted before is now really starting to kind of come into the forefront and, that's something that I really, really want to bring attention to and really, really want to showcase on this channel. So, having said that, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching every single video and just being your typical amazing selves. I love you guys so, so much. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough for watching my videos and just simply being a part of this channel. Uh, it, it truly does mean the world to me. And... Um, Having said all that mushy stuff, go buy yourself a adaptive Barbie. How cool, so neat. That is just absolutely cool. I'm gonna throw in a little slideshow here at the end, just kind of some honorable mentions of other, because they do have a whole line of these, like there's a bunch of them. So I wanna throw in a little slideshow here at the end and uh, showcase some more of the other ones that they have out there. Not only do they have ones that are have prosthetic limbs, they have ones that are, you know, uh, there's one that has Down syndrome. There's, um, there is another Barbie that has vitigo, which is a skin pigment for um, a lot of African Americans where they have like just like white splotches all over their skin they're fine there's nothing wrong i mean they're not sick or anything like that it's just a it's a skin pigment issue but um there's also another barbie that has alopecia which means your hair follicles don't grow <clears throat> um there's several that are in wheelchairs there's a blind barbie um <clears throat> so i mean they're really 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 taking huge steps in a completely look actually check this out I'm gonna put up in, in my little slideshow a picture of the the Barbie, but look right here. I can show you. See? There's the Barbie in the wheelchair right there. And if you look further down, there's a gentleman right there. So here, let me get that out of the way. There. So see there's several in wheelchairs. There's three all together just in this one run right here. So that's really cool. That's something that I've really, really been wanting to showcase and, and bring attention to. And um, I hope I've done that. I hope I've, I've really, um, you know, driven home the point that these are amazing. And, you know, they're just showing that they're simply, we're people too, and we can do everything else that you can. It just takes us a little bit longer to get ready, ready in the morning. <laughs> so again, having said all that, I love you guys. I apologize if I got long-winded. Um, enjoy the uh, slideshow I'm going to put here in the end. And um, I will see you guys next week uh, at 3 o'clock. And we'll... I'm not, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you. You'll see. So stick around. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys next week.